So now match 20, match 29, Pitts Belgium up against Tunisia. So the golden generation of Belgium will start like this. Courtois and Gold, Oliver Al, Company, Maman, Vertonghen, Hazard, Witzel, Fellaini, De Bruyne, Lukaku and Beteke up front with Batshui, Mertens, Nangolin, Defour and Mingole on the bench. What a squad. As for Tunisia, Mathuti, Ingo, Yusuf, Chemam, Maloy, Alhudi, Sassi, Amor, Kasari, Chilali, Masanki and Yusuf up front. So. Tunisia will get the match underway. Match 29 of the World Cup, which will take place in the real world on the 23rd of June. It will take place at the Okotorai Arena in Moscow. And that is an early chance for Belgium. It came off the head of one of the strikers. Um, but so far, just get a good feel of the ball all around. Tunisia. Looking to keep their World Cup alive with a result of some sort. As long as they don't lose, they could still be in with a chance, be it a distant chance of getting out of the group stages. Over the years, Tunisia and Belgium have met uh, three times before. And in fact, it's pretty even. In fact, it's 100% even as, German, as Belgium have won one, Tunisia have won one, and they've drawn one last time that these two sides met. It was a 1-0 win for Belgium. And the last time that these two sides met with any significance, it was a uh, in the World Cup and ended up being a 1-1 draw. And the first time that these two sides met, was all the way back in 1992, ended up being a 2-1 win for Tunisia. This will be Belgium's 13th World Cup and it will be Tunisia's will be Tunisia's fifth. Belgium finished a the best ever finish was a fourth place finish back in 1986 as for Tunisia they've only ever made it to the group stages in all of their previous World Cups and the last time they were here at this stage was 2006 as for Belgium, they were here last time out in Brazil um, under new management uh, with Roberto Martinez, formerly of Everton. Not too sure on the managerial position at Tunisia, the name of the manager. Actually, I can't recall who that is. So, right now. We're midway through the first half and it's pretty even. I think Belgium have had probably the better chances as Tunisia try to chip away. And that's a good effort. Keepers dropped it but cleaned up by the defence. They have another goal. And again it's kept out. So maybe just maybe the tide is turning and Tunisia now look the stronger of the two sides. But Belgium have quality on board with the likes of Eden Hazard, Lukaku, Benteke. They've got such a quality side that they should be, you know, when you think about it, it is the best. I think it's the best squad. You know, the players that are on their peak. I know Germany have a, have a good squad, but I think... Hang on a minute. There we go. Oh, that was a good effort. I'm just trying to think. Man for man, I think think I would say Belgium have the greatest squad in the in the uh, in the World Cup you know Vertonghen Vermaelen okay Vermaelen's getting on a bit company is getting on a bit but they're still quality defenders uh, Lukaku's a beast Benteke's a beast uh, and in Germany you know they have like Stindl Timo Werner uh, Draxler and all that and they're they, you know Draxler is, is, is quality Stindl's a good player for Germany and also a good player for his club. Um, but are they great? Are they up there with the you know the heavy hitters of Eden Hazard, Kevin De Bruyne, uh, Fellaini, uh, Nangolan? It's got, it's it's a very 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 good squad. And I would say uh, if uh, if uh, if it's not the best, it's definitely top top three. 
as we crawl towards the halfway mark and that is a good effort to end it as Brazil Brazil Belgium struggle to put the ball on the back of the net against a very stubborn Tunisia nil nil second half Belgium will get the match underway in their traditional red jerseys now Brazil opened up their World Cup with a win over Panama and uh, Tunisia lost to England 2-0. So Belgium opened up the second half with a couple of good early efforts. Maybe they can catch uh, Tunisia off guard. Or they, is it just a matter of time before Belgium run away with it and get a couple of goals? Or will Tunisia be stubborn enough and uh, refrain or keep them at bay and get themselves a cheeky point? But right now, it's a midfield battle. Belgium with possession. Kept alive. Punted forward. Oh, that would have... It was, it was nicely worked there. I could see what they were trying to do. But here they go. They come again. Played in. Gets a shot. Keeper, keeper good to it. Good good diving Hollywood save. Keeps uh, Tunisia in this match and in the World Cup. A defeat for Tunisia would see them join the likes of Portugal and Iran on their way out of the World Cup. Nice footwork. It's broken up though. A draw for Belgium would leave them in a bit of a pickle themselves, to be honest with you, because England will take on Panama next with the possibility of going uh, and grabbing them themselves a second victory. And you would think, you know, the England-Belgium game could go either way. And if England win, it would lead... I know it's a, if, a lot of ifs, ands and buts, but... Uh, if England do win, that will put them on nine points. So they've got, obviously they've got to beat Panama. And if they do beat Belgium, they put them on nine points. And it would leave Belgium on four. And Tunisia now would, would also have a point here with the prospect of beating Panama. And they could. They could shaft Belgium unless they get a, a goal here. And it looks promising. And there it is. Right on time. Belgium getting the notice in front. So all that build up. So there was a bit of a tease. I didn't know it was coming though. But it was a bit of a tease. Belgium with the nose is in front. And it's Lukaku. With another goal. I think he also had a goal in the game against Panama. So a couple of 1-0 wins for Belgium. Would, would, would probably do enough to get them into uh, the next round. But there is still time. There is still time for a couple of heartbreakers. Uh, Tunisia yet to get to open up their scoring in the World Cup. I'm just trying to think now. Is there any hope left for Tunisia? Despite losing, if they were to lose this, uh, they would need a Panama victory against England to keep them in. So it's not not 100% out, but they're going to be facing an uphill battle, even if Panama would have upset the odds. It's floated in there. It's broken up. They got they are less than one minute away from a massive uphill struggle. But Belgium less than a minute away from qualifying. And that strike looks good. That's a great save by Tunisia. With around about 30 seconds left of the match. It's punted forward. Can they get a lucky break? No. Here come Belgium once again looking to add to their tally. Goals. The goals for column could do with a boost. Tunisia just need one lucky break and maybe a snapshot. And they could trouble Courtois between the sticks. But it looks like this is going to peter out to a 1 0 win. And that, that, that'll be, you know, Belgium will be happy with it. They'll be happy with this. They'll, they'll put them through, regardless of what happens um, at the England game. They'll put them through either as group winners or as second fill. We've done the eight minutes. The referee is looking at his watch. And there you have it. Brazil win 1 0. Just to recap the stats for the day, uh, six shots on target for Belgium, one in the back of the net, 
Tunisia did okay they had, according to this I, I don't recollect them actually having a shot on target but I don't know uh, they had four shots on target uh, so Courtois was a little busy just to recap the score Lukaku on six minutes 25 seconds as for discipline nobody in the books and after that result here's an updated look at the table Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.